Hello folks, I'm Ownspack33, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, Episode 8. We are in the Cave of Flames, and similar to what I did back in Oracle of Ages, this dungeon is going to have a special guest commentator. And could you introduce yourself, sir? Hey. I could be anybody. You could be anybody. Hmm. Could be anybody on the planet Earth. But I'm just dark-minded, Sith. Duck-minded Sith? <laughs> Duck-minded, maybe uh, dork-minded. I'm getting bombs here. Maybe dork-minded. I'm trying to... I'm trying to do something here. It's not working. It's the bombs. It's Mario oh, when you need them. either. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's use regular bombs game. I won't do anything fancy. Are those like, uh, siblings of the enemies you just fought? <laughs> of bobombs? I don't. I don't know. I think they're actually called bobombs, to be honest. Probably. Hey, it's the. Oh, uh, there's Ezlo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what does he want? He says something before you come in this dungeon too. I kind of cut it out because I wanted to save it in, in the dungeon. But it's nice. he's just like, hey, it's really hot in here, so you should mm -hmm. hurry up. Oh, I got yeah. the compass. Of course. You always have to have that sidekick in Zelda who's like, hey, you need to start doing this more. <laughs> hey, shouldn't you go here? We got like this rupee lake like here. Easy rupees. Yeah, what the heck is that about? <laughs> There's a bunch of weird enemies in this game. Seriously. It's like, we need to add a like like to this game. Uh, we've already had and like likes. Bombs. Yeah, we've already had a like like before. Alright, we'll just add a rupee on it then. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty dumb. Bomb bombs. Do they leave you coins? No, they don't leave you coins when you kill them, no. Oh, <laughs> That's so fun. Coins? I don't even know what coins, if they'd have any worth in the Zelda universe. There's yeah. probably some exchange rate, I'm sure. You know. That's, this is five rupees. Well, I have one coin. That's no good here. <laughs> Your money's not welcome here. <laughs> yeah, <'cause they'll> probably <laughs> Credits will do fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they won't. <laughs> no, they won't! <laughs> Shut up, Ezlo. Alright, so he, this is the stupidest thing ever. He's telling you, oh, you should hop in this minecart, as opposed to, what else am I gonna do in this room? <laughs> Just stating the obvious thing. Yeah. That's what we Let's Players are supposed to do. And look, after I get out of the minecart, <laughs> he the, says more stuff. <laughs> that's the difficulty with doing a Zelda game, is you always have the sidekick that wants to be the Let's Player for you. You know, hey, you should go here. Like, no, I was gonna tell them that. I was gonna tell them what you're supposed to do. Oh, well, that didn't work at all. Part of being a Let's Player is assuming your audience is clueless and stupid. Right. When you, when you get here, you actually have to do this. <laughs> oh, come on! I really wanted... Yeah, it worked! It sort of worked! <laughs> it's like a real vacuum. Has that problem where it won't work properly? <laughs> What's wrong with it? Alright, there we go. So, uh, Mr. Darkmind Sith, uh, just like in my old Oracle of Ages videos, I let the person talk about stuff they were doing so that people can watch you. But I'm imagining most of my viewers watch you already. Yeah, but, uh, man, uh... It's still gotta be nice. What What are you doing? What's new, what's new on the plate? New on the plate? Um, yeah. there's a few jams and goodies. Um, the only thing I'm really doing right now is Majora's Mask. And every now and then I'm doing some Super Mario Kart videos with my buddy Chromium. That's sort of like every blue moon or so. Um, so mostly just Majora's Mask right now. Which is... Hey, Majora's Mask is some good stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've heard of you that game? Yeah, I have. Oh, yeah. Someone was saying last episode that this game is kind of similar to it. Oh, is that so? Because there's, there's, uh, there's only a few dungeons in this game. Oh, is that so? And there's a and bajillion there's a of... side quests? Yes, there's a ton of side quests. Oh. Awesome. So I, mean, that... I also forgot who it was again. Uh, that means you're gonna have viewers say things like, Oh, get on with the game already, you're doing too much side quest stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing 75% of the game. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Does this place have a smoke alarm? No. Uh, shucks. They want you to die. Yeah, this place isn't really nice. The this is apparently a mine dug up by humans. They weren't exactly thinking good here. There's like lava and stuff here. Yeah, seriously. 
I also got the dungeon map. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Now we know where we're going even more than what we knew before. Now we really know where we're going. Yay, miscellaneous. There's tons of miscellaneous treasure chests in this game. Oh, no. And I, I'm one of those guys who has to open every treasure chest. <laughs> yeah. So... It's like, go yeah, all out of my way, 20 rupees. Yeah, that's it's usually what it is, too, or like a kinstone piece or something. Yeah. Kinstone piece. That's, what, that's what a lot of this game is, too, is kinstone fusion. Mm hmm. Yeah. Morphing one with another. Mm -hmm. It's turtles. Oh, you gotta knock these guys into these holes here. That's one way oh, to look, kill something. Rupees. Put it in your bank. <laughs> It'll be worth 112 rupees in the future. I don't know if they have that kind of uh, investment no, probably not. Uh, s system. I don't think there's one bank in this game at all, to be honest. <laughs> you have to you have to protect your money on your own. <laughs> oh, freaking Ezlo gets all fat. And <laughs> it's kind of funny the first time you do this. Because, once again, he explains that you should jump into the tornadoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> jump but in with like, a lot of confidence, eh? Yeah. That's the only thing that's really dumb about this game. They assume you're a moron. Like, always. <laughs> Anytime there's, like, a new mechanic or something, they don't let you try to figure it out on your own. It's like, no, do this here. <laughs> <laughs> the Zelda games kind of have a history of that. Yeah. You can't just use that sword. Don't you have, like, something you could use as a shield? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as a shield. <laughs> you know. Oh, maybe the shield I'm holding. Yeah, exactly. And the problem is, when you've played the game multiple times, you can't, like, cancel that, you know? Because once you're playing yeah, it for, like, the fifth time, you kind of know everything at that point. It's like, hey, you should try this. Ugh. If, if it isn't blatantly obvious, I pretty much know what I'm doing in this place. <laughs> yeah, there are there. Oh, heart piece. Yeah, I can't get it. There's the heart pieces in dungeons in this game. Mm -hmm. There's a ton of heart pieces because yeah. there's not many dungeons. It's, it's the Mario Kart spiny shell. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> They're in all the Game Boy Zelda games. <laughs> this thing's flipped over. Can't do anything with it. Don't you hate when there's like uh, tra or puzzles like that? Because in reality, you're like, dude, just flip it over. <laughs> 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 like in Pokemon. There's like a Snorlax. Like, dude, just walk over the freaking Snorlax. <laughs> or walk around it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ash. Red. Like, oh, I can't do anything. <laughs> He's asleep. It's not like it's hard to sneak by him. <laughs> yeah, seriously. There we go. Piece of heart there. There we go. I think there's one more in this dungeon. And if there is, that means we're going to get another heart container, which is yeah. sweet. Well, there was one we just saw. Or was that... That's the, the one I just got. One just yeah. got, okay. Alright, and we got like a mini boss here. Oh, By mini boss, I mean a bunch of these guys. Oh, God. If he just he used a spin slasher justice on him, <laughs> it, it stuns him. Stupid Wind Waker things. Yeah, a lot of Wind Waker stuff in this game, a lot of sound effects from it. A lot of, like, you can even tell the graphical style of it is definitely Wind Waker esque. <laughs> Wind Waker ish. So we have the Kana Posse, I guess. Uh, this is a this is a weird item. This is the only game. This is the only Zelda game it's in. Uh, it lets you flip over stuff, like anything. It's kind of funny you do it on pots. They just break. But uh, you do it on this here. You can break over. pots with some style. <laughs> like, look at this. Like, why don't you do this? You just got a new item. Just throw him in the friggin' wall. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but that's a warp back. I don't think we really even have to utilize that at yeah, all. Just take him off. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what? The Link has to have his hat. Yeah. Here's a pointless room. Link without his hat is like Mario without his hat. Does he take double damage? No. And he's just not the same. Oh, I guess... Yeah, he... Link's hair is mad messy. If you see at the beginning of the game, it's just like... He <laughs> could care less. Yeah. He just doesn't care. That's why he puts well, on a hat every day. Yeah, that's what I could, he's like, my hair sucks, I put on a hat. I could brush my hair and make it nice, no hat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, 
we gotta do here? Oh, we gotta be in Minish again. <laughs> Ezlo, hey, there's a switch right here. Maybe you should try pulling it. <laughs> That's the only point of Ezlo, really, is so you can turn to a Minish. Oh, man. Hurt. Good. 